right to my gravy granules. I thought I'd do a video on the expansion to Sengoku Basara 3. This is a Japanese exclusive. Although if you actually have the Dolphin emulator, apparently, you can get a translation guide on this. It's got like most of the content from the original game. So it's got a whole bunch of different modes. And I probably, if you had, if I had ranked these games, um, like a couple of weeks ago I would have put this game as like one of the most pointless ones but actually playing a, it again is actually really good so um, obviously you got like a story mode with the characters they had non-playable in uh, Utagi it's mainly like the new ones so well I wouldn't call Tenkai a new one Sasuke is like a returning one Mits Matsunaga Hisahide is a new character he's a returning one uh, Kajura Katakura Minushige Sorin Yoshiaki and Hideaki. Um, these are like completing these stories unlocks like the other non playable characters, like the ones that were that obviously had movesets but you couldn't play as them in the original game. And then this is like a conquest mode, which is like kind of weird. We'll um, do it as Magoichi because there is actually quite a, quite a few funny things. We'll, ooh, am I doing? Yeah, for some reason, like. This is easy, but that's actually, like, the Japanese for it is normal, so hard, extreme, and whatever that is. We'll go for the hardest difficulty, because Magoichi is actually broken in this. They did a lot of changes from uh, Samurai Heroes. Yeah, so this is, like, a conquest mode, which is basically, like, the same as the story mode in Basura 3, which is kind of dumb. This isn't, this is, like, I suppose it's the, uh... Sengoku Basura version of like extreme mode. It's a mode they put in basically every game um, The only game it's not actually in is in in 4 and its expansions. So uh, So this mode is like a gambling mode where you bet on who you think is going to survive to the last um, Obviously, they've got multipliers here. So like Masamune Well, it's based on like their, their survival chances. I, I'm pretty sure uh, Magoichi's a very passive thing if you're not playing as her and she seems to survive fairly fairly often um we're gonna bet on yoshihiro yeah so it's kind of weird like unlike unlike the story mode you can actually attack anybody you want to begin with it's kind of like playing as uh musashi in um somewhat uh Tengo Battle or two where you can just attack anybody because you don't actually have a home. See, so yeah, I can go for anywhere, even though my starting province is, you know, right in the middle. Yes, yeah, so obviously you want the characters to survive to the very last. Um, I can't actually show you any of the new stages, which is like the most annoying thing. So we'll go for, you know, we'll go for Odawara because there is actually quite a funny thing you can do in this stage. And one of the, the best changes they did in this game is that you can have personal inscriptions with one thing instead of having to equip four. So, uh, oh, oh no, actually we'll go for that because I generally cannot be bothered to change weapons and that looks so fucking dumb. Oh no, I swore, I swore, uh, it doesn't really matter about our defense, I guess, or does it? You know what, we'll go for one defense just in case. Yeah, always pick KG because he gives 20% 20% damage reduction. Uh, also, everybody got a... Well, it doesn't apply to Magoichi, but everybody got, like, the square hold attack, which is pretty nice. Uh, you can swap... It's easier to swap costumes as well. All the characters that don't have a story mode don't get one, though, so Kasuga doesn't get one, which is kind of annoying. Although, I'm pretty sure her... Alternate costume in two and four for Sumeragi are exactly the same. I generally can't remember. There's so much like content in these games; it's difficult to keep track of. That's kind of the thing that I that as much as I think Sumeragi is like the best game, that's like the one thing that kind of brings it down. It's only got one mode, but basically all the stages are exactly the same in this game, even though it's attached to like a pretty weird mode. Like this is the hardest difficulty, and what. What was our what was our level like? I can't even see it. I think we were like level seventy. I don't even know what the max level is because as much as I've played Kasuga for like 
400 hours or whatever. She's my, uh, well, I'll show her off in a minute because I'm in the middle of a, like, a challenge mode thing. It's, yeah, this this difficulty is a joke if you're playing as Maguichi. But we've got to capture these things in two minutes. Yes, yeah, so I've been doing a hard playthrough on Samurai Heroes to try and get all the weapons because that's, that's how you get them by chance, by playing on, like, a hard difficulty. Um... And, like, capturing this in two minutes is, like, pretty hard with some characters, because some of them are just awful. Oh, I like Montanari Mori. It's like, no, he's, he's shit. <laughs> he's actual bad. Like, his damage output is disgustingly bad. Maguichi with, like, just a basic weapon and the rockets just, like, melts everything. It's not even funny. So, yeah, if you capture these bases within two minutes, you just... You, you get to play less of the stage. <laughs> Uh, quite funny. I was going to do a tier list of all the uh, stages, but I just haven't... This summer I haven't played in this game uh, that much. Because, A, they're not, they're not like, in this mode to begin with. As, like, a starting stage that you can just pick. They appear as, like, additional battles. And um, some of them I haven't really played. Like, the Matsunaga stage I haven't played in a while. Like, I kind of wish they tightened up the uh, jumping in this game a little bit. Also, it seems a bit like my voice seems a bit off. It's because um, my body is actually turned towards my screen because I'm playing this with a PS4 controller. So it's plugged into my PS3 with a cable, which is slightly not long enough. And, um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. It's, it's because, like, the... PS4 controllers like have lots of durability, whereas my PS3 controllers seem to get like ridiculous drift on one of the analog sticks. Like an official PS3 controller, and I'm not paying 50 quid for a new one. So I got like a knockoff one, like a third. Oh fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! I thought I was going to get knocked down then. <sighs> that is so lucky. <laughs> it's like, please don't. There we go. He did take a fair amount of health off us. Yeah, like, ninjas in this are pretty, pretty tough. Do, 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 do. Yeah, if you play, if you're going for the trophies in um, Samurai Heroes, like, this stage is the best one to get all the uh, Anita boxes, whatever they're called. Oh, Jesus Christ. These ninjas are pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Can you, can you not do that? Right, this... That guy with the wind thing on his head needs to die. There we go. That's not actually going to make any difference. Also, oh yeah, also Basra techniques can clash and you can go into like... I'm not sure if you can actually go into like the sword duel thing, but... Um, it does make the sounds for it. And I found out something the other day as well. Even though he's like a... Well, a joke character. You can actually do the sword clash thing with uh, Kanetsugu. He does... It is, like, ridiculously easy to beat him in it, even on hard. But, yeah, I never knew you could do that. There we go. This is like cheating. Just like my ex did. Boo-boo! <laughs> uh, don't even know why she did it. What a... What a... Wally. This was like 10 years ago, by the way. Almost like 10 years ago to the day, as far as I'm aware. There we go. Why was that so far away from where he uh, landed? Maguichi. Why is that ninja following me? Just like, go away. Also, you can't jump down there, which is kind of annoying. So if you beat Katara, because it, like, it'd be like a sequence break otherwise. So this is how you get like the second objective. Of uh, ambushing Ujimasa. What the? I've literally never seen that attack before. Mind you, I probably haven't actually like unlocked all of them. That's him. I have played as him. He's quite fun. Well, yeah, obviously I had to play as him for the uh, tier list. Like I've still got that tier list video if people want to watch. It's like not particularly great, but 
And there's like one character I would change like position of, which is... I don't even know who I'd change now. I said it and then I was just like, yeah, I don't actually agree with that. It's one of the characters that appears in 3. Uh, sorry, Yoshihiro Shimazu, I'd change, I'd put him higher, because he's actually quite fun. He's, f like, getting high combos with him is, like, actually impossible, though. Like, the... So, one of his battles is, like, the Sekigahara Intrusion stage, and one of the objectives is, like, get a 10,000 hit combo, and it's just, like, it's actually impossible to get, like, over 2,000 with him. Because his moveset is just plain bad. There we go. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the only reason I picked Maguichi is because she's hot. Technically. She's the only hot character that's not a child. Or Kasuga. Or Oichi. <laughs> or several of the other characters. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Yeah, they changed the material thing now as well, so you just get like the the gold equipment items, like just by playing it playing the stages basically and also the way they change the weapons as well you get like um so instead of getting fugitives to uh bloody hell six slots that's pretty good yeah so instead of having the fugitives as like the way you level up your stats it's actually attached to your weapons but also you can like buy upgrades in a shop which are like ridiculously expensive uh Kasuga is obviously the only character i've actually done this with so that's just, that's basically what what goes on in this in this thing. So these are all the things that are going to be happening. So obviously, if Masamune loses, I'm going to going to cry. Yeah, obviously the the ones you've bet on, it does last because it's like all the suspense. You yeah, basically, if they're near a character that um, is a generic, they're going to win. Basically, this is. There's a trophy to complete this with that with um You know what I'm gonna do the Shall I do that stage? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do Cliffs of Megatakahara, even though we did it in the uh the whatever stage. Also, now you have the ability to swap character during a stage. I'm not gonna do it because I need KG for A, because he's not leveled up and I need him for his bonus. You lose the bonus of having them as a um partner. So like you can't swap to this character because he's generic. So he's an only a bodyguard, but you obviously get his ability at all times, which revives you once per stage. And uh, do, do, do. also they have to have max bond for you to be able to do it. Um, Surahime is fairly leveled up. Most of these are like level one, so I'm not going to do it because I will just get absolutely turned into mincemeat if I do get hit, basically. Um. Oh yeah, and the hero time thing they changed as well, so you can actually have this like two different ways of having it. So every 100 kills with one of them, you get the gauge, and then if you get 200 kills, it like powers up. Which I, but it like levels up the wrong stats. It makes you like harder to kill. It levels up like your defense and health, but you don't get more time from doing it whilst like attacking if that makes sense like the hero time and normally like boosts your attack power and stuff doesn't it and then the more KOs you get whilst doing it you can just continue it indefinitely that's how you get money in this game by the way you just go to Sekigahara Intrusion play as Mitsunari and just you know just do it that way in a way yeah and just going to hero time you can get like a 30,000 hit combo yeah when those Oh, didn't want that. But. Yeah, so basically this is like the precursor to the roulette in uh, Sumeragi. You have to go to like certain stages with the merchant guy or like the traveller. And you get more money. So the gold thing there just spawns a load of uh, troops with the money things on their back and you get like loads of cash from just attacking them. This is, this is the hardest difficulty, by the way. I don't actually know if you if any input does actually increase that roulette time. Oh, there we go. Yeah, bombs are going to drop from the sky, so we're going to avoid it by going on the zip wire. As long as the bombs aren't as strong as... Oh, we're not actually taking that much damage, which is kind of weird. 
we'll just run away because it's the easiest thing. Because we're, we're trying to speed run this now. I'm not actually worried about getting the uh, most XP. Yeah, I can't remember if I've said it before because my brain is like a sieve. Um, I was going to do a tier list of all the stages. All 46, but I haven't played all of them in a while, so... I just realised we didn't capture that camp up there, not that that's going to matter. Right. Oh, there we go. So this is like the reward thing. Where money troops spawn. Yeah, it's pretty pretty easy as my to get, them, get cash because you just like <laughs> instantly kill them all. Do, 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 do. The real test will be when we go through that gate and we uh, get hit by toy soldiers with their rockets. Yeah, the, the main thing is like it's in Japanese only, which is the worst thing. I'm not actually sure how good the translation guide is for the Dolphin version of this. Or the, well, it's the Wii version, isn't it? Because that's what you play on Dolphin. There we go, hit Tadagachi's going to fly off. We are going to have to defeat him, by the way, because like, the lightning is just annoying if you're trying to fight Ieyasu. It's basically how I play the stage all the time, except I will actually defeat him usually. It's just that I don't want to embarrass myself by dying in a video. Unless it's for a joke. Come on. Yeah, if you do get the gold thing, it, it brings up like more negative things for the next base you capture. There we go, we just got more soldiers to, to defeat. They will literally just spawn out of nowhere, which is pretty funny. We'll just do this. I just made a mistake there, because I, I probably would have needed that for the Tadagatsu fight. Yeah, money is a lot more... Um, like valuable in this game like you actually need cash to do stuff to like power up your characters whereas in samurai heroes you don't really use it for anything we use it for making accessories but the accessories are just like i haven't made an accessory in ages until last night where i uh, finally reached one million gold so i can actually spend my money now i don't know it's just it doesn't it just doesn't seem like that necessary which is kind of goofy in a way. I can't remember which game it is now. It's a Koei game, but like they give you, uh, one of the games gives you such a ridiculous amount of gold and you just like never use it. Could be any of them really. I'll probably think of it in a minute. Like when the video's out, like the amount of things I think of when a video, I've stopped making a video and I'm like, yeah, I can't be bothered to go and change it. <laughs> Yeah, that happens all the time, but like, I literally never called out for it. I say called out, I mean, I'm never like, never told, oh, you missed this. Unless it's something really stupid. Yeah, so, I think, so I did that video on get like, the top 10 hardest rare weapons or whatever. And the, my number one was obviously Sun Xuan's level 11 weapon. Somebody was like, you missed out that it's not a good weapon. It's like, that's not the point. The point is that it's difficult to get, not, not, it's not based on how good the weapon is, for fuck's sake. <laughs> like, that was never an issue, but I, some, like, I, I literally do not care if people call me out on, like, things I missed, which are important, but it's like, if that was never a point in the video to begin with, then why, like, why even say you missed it out? That's like, say, that's like my tier list of the Samurai Warriors characters and saying, like, Oh, Tadagatsu's a Gundam in Son Goku Basra, you should bring him down. Like, that was never a point. Right, here's his annoying fuckface. He's, he's a tool, basically. Look at him. Look at him. He, see if he can even get a hit on us. I don't think he will. Like, the, the rockets are actually broken in this game. And it's not even funny. Oh, he, he, he only broke our guard then. He didn't actually get a hit. <laughs> the goofiness of that. The same the way he moved around. Uh, yeah, that, like... These games are hard, apparently. Why would you not take this, though? It's such a ridiculous damage spike. Because it does AoE damage as well. There we go. 
Though they did change the way um, the difficulties work in these games as well. So hard on the vanilla version, it will fill up their Bassera gauge like in each quarter of their each quarter of the damage they take, just from like purely you attacking them. Um, because obviously, if you do a duel with them and you take damage that way, they don't actually lose any. They don't gain any Bassera basically. So this is like increasing health from doing certain objectives in the stage, I think. Whatever. Oh, didn't upgrade any of them. This is on the hardest difficulty. What was I going to say? Uh, I generally can't remember now. Yes, yeah, so obviously their Bassera gauges would, uh, would increase every quarter of the health they lose. But in this it seems to take a lot longer. And they're like less likely to use their Bassera. Like, the first instance I'll do it, and then the next one. Right, here are the results. <sighs> yes, two of them are living. Oh, wait. When did Yukimura get defeated? Was it that last round? I generally can't remember. Oh, you must have been defeated by Master Minute. I must just be blind or something. Yeah, because his land was taken over by Master Mune, so now. Whatever. So yeah, that's the basic premise of this game. Uh, obviously, if you keep him, keep the ones you've bet on alive till last, they, um, you get more money. So that's that. We'll just show you the challenge, the quote-unquote challenge mode. It's basically how you uh, recruit allies in this game. It's, it's pathetically easy for the first lot, and, like, ridiculously hard for the last one. So I haven't done them all. I'm on number 27. I'm in the middle of one. This is how to get Shingen as a character, basically. Um, yeah, so these are the available ones that you get. If you do the challenge mode again, it will immediate... So, instead of getting all of the bodyguards as a reward, it will randomly pick one of them and then increase their bond to the maximum and then they it just removes them from the list. So, I think... Which one? One of them's got KG as a reward, and I've done it, so... He's he's like a maximum bonded character, so I can't... I think it's... Ooh. It was quite far down. Can't remember if he's with another character. No. I'd, I can't remember which one it is. It's, it's, it might be... Ooh, I don't know. I think he's with another... I can't remember. I think it's that one. But whatever. So I'll show you how, it, like, the ridiculous difficulty spike in this. This is a, with a maxed Kassiger as well. Well, maybe not the best, like, equipment. Uh, so we... So you get, like, a whole bunch of stages to do. Most of the time it does give you, like, four stages to go for, and then it gives you, like, a hidden one, which you can only do after the last fight. Um, so, these are my weapons. So, yeah, for the characters that aren't haven't got a story mode and just made playable in, like, the extra modes, they don't actually give, like, new things to them. They don't give new, like, rewards or anything. Which is kind of dumb. So, yeah. Kind of, kind of goofy. So... Yeah, you don't you don't get an alternate costume either, and they only have one super art, which is obviously the one where she spins around, which I basically never use. But whatever. This is me getting my ass kicked. I wish I didn't. I wish I knew that Ieyasu was my next boss on this, so I can show you getting my ass kicked. Oh my god. Um. So it. Introduces like a whole bunch of gimmicks as well, and also your health is the same, uh, is like retained from each of the stages you do. So, see, we're getting absolutely wrecked here. Can you not do that? The good thing about Kasuga is like if you dodge, it binds enemies. Well, if you've got her personal description, anyway. Yeah, so it introduces gimmicks in each of the stages. Like, there was the um, revival pots from the Battle of Mount Osor stage. And all you have to do, really, is... Can you not do that? Yeah, these explosion troops are really annoying. 
All you have to do is defeat these like named sort of generic soldiers. Yeah, I'm trying not to use my Battery Gauge because I need to use it on the bosses. Even though they, they dodge like relentlessly. That's the only smart thing about them in this game is that like they will dodge your Battery Technique. Can you, can you not? Ugh, fucking explosions. Yeah, try and do, I try and do most things from range because, like, hits in this are ridiculous. I was in the one that did. Fine, I'll just do this. Get rid of them quicker. And by the way, I'm not actually complaining about, like, the difficulty in this. It's just, like... I w you would have thought they didn't. Oh my god, fuck off! I would have thought that. There we go, we just got absolutely pulverised there. Um, you would have thought they would introduce like some of the things like them dodging your Bastard techniques relentlessly. Um, in uh, like the harder difficulties, not just in like this mode. Yes, you can fuck off now. I know I died. I wonder if I have to start the whole. Oh. It's going to give me the option to start again, isn't it? Oh, fuck's sake. I, I genuinely do not like these challenge stages because they just get so, like, draining. It, it's just, like, an absolute waste of time. So if you get... So... I didn't even really want to show off the this one because it's got horse soldiers and they just fucking demolish you. I can't even show it off anyway because it won't let me. Great. Should we go to a previous one? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Or do we? No, it's just fucking boring though. Like the like the challenge mode is pretty difficult, but it's just like this it just has those arena stages and it and every like I dunno. It just gets very like draining. Right, who shall we play as? We'll play as Shh. Kenshin, because he's another new character in me. Briefly, I think I should be able to, I should be strong enough to do this. And that's an annoying thing about this game as well, like getting good weapons. Yeah, so you get like a choice of four stages here. Um, right, so I need, just need to get 200 kills, 500 hit combo. Don't know what that is. That's parry KG five times. Oh, that's that must be. That's destroyed a leg of the rising sun thing, isn't it? I will go for the 200 hit kill one then. Yeah, like my weapons for Kenshin are just awful. I mean, look at the state of some of these. Oh, don't get ice attribute on this. Great. Why do they do that? Why shouldn't it? Why can't it just be like a equipment upgrade or something? Matsu cast. Have I not got his thing? Oh well. Goody gum drops. Yeah, they actually made it easier to equip items as well, which is quite nice. You know what? We'll. So you can. Uh, when you pick them, you get to choose them as a satellite thing. You also can't change their equipment, which is like really stupid. Oh, actually, it does. I didn't realise that. <laughs> <laughs> There's me swearing. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I don't get why it's got two different menus for like swapping stuff like that. Ooh, we can bubbleize them now. Hmm, interesting. Cool. Right, we'll see how badly we get beaten up in this. <sighs> What's this three star or four star? If it's four star, then there's literally no chance. Oh yeah, it's defeat two hundred enemies without defeating whatever the fuck his name is, Yoshitsugu Otani, the worst character in the series. Like, it's not even funny how bad he is. Can you not? Right. How? I can't remember how we swap characters now. 
Can you can you stop? Can you stop? Oh, there we go. Block and then X, which is pretty weird. I always like Surahime because she's, I don't know, she's like really goofy as a character, isn't she? Also, they, so unlike um, number four, they don't actually appear as like a bodyguard at all. Like, it's literally just me at the moment, which is kind of, kind of stupid. Also, Mitsunari will appear in a minute to just be basically a short range nuisance. Can you, can you not do that? Yeah, if I was doing this on my other controller, because the the square button is sticking, I would. There's no way I would have won that. And also playing as Kenshin, it also activated his uh, like his strong square attack all the time, <laughs> which got pretty annoying after a while. Not that I play as this character much, but he's he's one of the characters I will go for like almost straight away. He's gonna spawn him. Pretty sure Mitsunari is supposed to appear in this stage, but he's just like not not showing up. I say there he is. Only 38 left, 37 left. I don't think I if I defeat one of them at the stage ends as well. It's like a cha eight quote unquote challenge. I don't know. It's kind of dumb if you ask me. Do you, wanna, do you wanna not do that? Plays, plays the girl! There we go, and that is literally the challenge ended, which is like ridiculously short. What's that, like two, three minutes? If I'm quite honest, I don't actually know what I'm doing with this video now. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of weird. It's quite nice that it, you do level up both characters at the same time. I'm not sure if that, if I complete this challenge with using both of them, that will count to like the thing. So, but on each challenge, it says like which characters you've completed it with, which is like. Pretty, pretty goofy, if you ask me. So that was my arm on the desk just clicking for no bloody reason. It says, see, it says that I've completed it with Kasuga, like all of these I've done with just Kasuga, except for the first one, which I've done with Kenshin as well. Classic. I think there's a trophy to complete each one with every character, which, boy, am I going to have no fun with. English. Yeah, I just want to show off like the new step. Well, I don't want to show them off. I'll just like bring up the new stages. So this is a new one. That's like occupation of Osu. Osu. Uh, do do do. What's the other ones? Yes, there's a new one which got both Masamuni and uh, Yukimura as a boss. Takeda, Dojo. Uh, Matsunaga as a boss which I can't like the stage for this is like really bad it's just like one long road it's kind of like a lot of stages in this game uh, do, do, do. last stand which is oh yeah in that mode where you the, the free-for-all mode or conquest mode the last stand can appear as a as a stage which actually makes me rage a uh, battle of the Yamazaki uh, Kyoto Fireworks Festival. I don't know why they're all in the same place, because, like, Yamazaki's... Like, Kyoto's not there. Kyoto's further down. But whatever. I suppose they couldn't be bothered to move the cursor. Uh, there's, like, a nighttime battle. This is, like, one of the battles you do as Sasuke. I'm pretty sure Sasuke actually has all new battles for his uh, story mode, which are... The new story modes, as well, are only, like, three stages long, which is kind of dumb. Uh, that's his first stage as well. It's like on boats, which is okay, I guess. But yeah, so there's a few new stages. Some of them are quite neat, but there we go. 
Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you did, I was stumbling over my words because I didn't know what to say and it was kind of a last minute thing because I had some free time out of making Warhammer models, which, you know, I have an obsession with now. But yes, um, thank you very much for watching. If you did, I might do a stage tier list on all the stages in this. It'll be a bit more, you know, cohesive instead of me stumbling over everything. I might do a review of some of the games as well. But I've got things I want to do. I, there's like a Valkyria Chronicles review I've had in the works for so bloody long. And I should probably release it before the, the PlayStation summer, stay, summer sale ends because it's, you know, cheap. And basically, if you want my verdict on it, just buy it. It's good. So there we go. Uh, thank you very much for watching if you did, and I'll see you with another video fairly soon, I hope. Bye-bye.